بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا مین ڈیفینیشن واٹ از این ایکسٹینیس روڈ بٹ بفور دس آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس سم بیسک ڈیفینیشن وچ ول لیڈ اس ٹو دا مین ڈیفینیشن ایکسٹینیس روڈ دیٹ واٹ از ریڈیکل واٹ از ریڈیکل اکویژن roots of a quadratic equation what is the difference between square root and under root and lastly i am going to discuss what is an extraneous root with a example got it so we start with some basic definition mean we start with what is a radical okay an expression Involving square root, cube root, fourth root, fifth root, etc. is called radical expression or simple radicals. And uh, you can uh, see that the symbol of radical is like this, which is a radical symbol. If we have a function say x square plus 2x under this radical sign, then this function is called a radicand. And third one is the value, which is called called index so you should know the difference between radical symbol radicand and index now square root sign is what this is a square root sign or you can say that principal square root sign and its value is equal to what its value is equal to 1 over 2 then cube root sign is equal to our sign having index 3 then its value must be equal to 1 over 3. Similarly, if we have fourth root, then its index is, watch, its index is, yes, 4. And its value is 1 over 4, good. And lastly, if we have nth root, then its sign is nth index and its value is 1 over n. So, n is expression involving square root, cube root, etc. is a radical. Got it? Now, I am going to uh, discuss the difference between the word which you, we use uh, cube root and under root. So, what is the difference between square root and under root? Sorry, square root and under root. Under root can be used for nth root. Mean If we have index n, its value is 1 over n, but square root can only be used only for second root. So, its index is like here, uh, its symbol is this and its value is 1 over 2. So, this is the main differ difference the word between the words square root and under root. In square root, we have value 1 over 2. In under root, we have value n over 1 over n. A very important note related to this that all square roots are under root. All square roots are under root but all under root are not square root. So that's the main difference between these words square root and under root. Got it? Okay. Next we move on to the definition what is a radical equation it's a very simple uh, definition equation involving a radical expression of the variables are called radical equation mean radical expression involving in an equation is called a radical equation or you can uh, have an any uh, another definition or simple definition a radical equation is an equation in which a variable is under a radical for example We suppose that if we have an expression this, an equation this, x minus 2x minus 1 under root, it's a, a, a value under root, variable under a radical. Then this type of equation is called a radical equation. Got it? Now, I am going to discuss root of a given quadratic equation. Roots of a given quadratic equation. For example, if we have uh, equation x square minus 5x, I just want to find the root of this given equation. So, by taking x common on left hand side, uh, we have x into x minus 5, either x is equal to 0 or x minus x is equal to 
तो x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5 are the roots of given equation. Mean the roots of the quadratic equation are the values that satisfied the quadratic equation. How? Just put x is equal to 0 in equation 1. Mean put x is equal to 0 in equation 1. You have you can see that 0 square minus 5 into 0 is equal to 0 or 0 is equal to 0. Which shows that left hand side is equal to right hand side. So you can say that x is equal to 0 satisfy the given equation. So it's a root of given equation or equation 1. Got it? Now I am going to check this second value which is x is equal to 5. So put x is equal to 5 in equation 1. We have 5 square 25 minus 25 or 0 is equal to 0 mean left hand side is equal to right hand side. So you can say that x is equal to 5 satisfied the given equation. So it is a root of equation 1 or simplify and uh, simply you can say that x is equal to 0 and 5 are the roots of given equation. Okay, so in quadratic equation, we can check that the given values are root of given equation. But in case of an extraneous uh, root, we must check this. Now, we move on to our main definition, which is what is an extraneous root. The roots which do not satisfy a radical equation are called extraneous root. Mean first you have to find the values of x and put this in given equation or radical equation. If left hand side is not equal to right hand, right hand side, then the given value is an extraneous root. Got it? I am going to give you a simple example to demonstrate this. For example, question is how do I find the extraneous solution of x plus 1 under root is equal to x minus 1. To solve a radical equation, we first obtain an equation free from radicals. So first step is to obtain, to convert this equation free from radical. In order to uh, obtain this, by we take square on both side in left hand side as well as right hand side. In left hand side we have square and value of under root is 1 over 2. So cut to 1 over 2 in left hand side is simply we have x plus 1. In right hand side we can use formula which is a minus b square. You can uh, you know that which is a square plus b square minus 2ab. Here a is equal to x and b is equal to 1. So by replacing the values in right hand side we have x square plus 1 minus 2x. Uh, or more simplifying we have x square plus two, 1 minus 2x and uh, minus x minus 1 plus minus 1 cancel and we have x square minus 3x by taking common x from left hand side we have x into x minus 3 either x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 3 so we have two values x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3. Now in order to check which root is an extraneous root we must put these values in given equation or in equation 1. So put okay so put x is equal to 0 in equation say 1. So put x is equal to 0 and 1 we have 1 under root is equal to 1. So 1 is equal to minus 1. Is it true? No, 1 is not equal to minus 1 which is not true. So x is equal to 0 is not a root of given equation. If it is not a root of given equation that 0 do not satisfy the given equation. So it is an extraneous root. If left hand side is not equal to right hand side at value of x, then the value is called an extraneous root. Now check second value as well x is equal to 3 and 1 so we have 4 under root is equal to 2, 2 is equal to 2 is it right? 2 is equal to left hand side is equal to right hand side yes which is true so you can say that x is equal to 3 is a root of given equation so uh, you can say that x is equal to 3 is a solution of this a given equation so here x is equal to 0 is an extraneous root and x is equal to 3 as a solution of given equation. So there's a difference between a root and extraneous root. So that's it from now. Inshallah, we will meet in next lecture. Okay, Allah Hafiz.